Hello everyone and welcome to our very first Voices of Praise Seeds of Salvation. My name is Lauren Walker and I have the pleasure of serving as the president of Texas a and University's Voices of Praise Gospel Choir. The purpose of VOP SOS is to provide some weekly encouragement, uplifting and inspiration as we continue to navigate through these uncertain times and even after that. And this may come through song or through scripture. So for today, the first seed that I would like to plant comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verses 17 through 18. And it says, If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. This is a story that I'm sure we are all familiar with, the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were thrown into a fiery furnace because they chose not to worship the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. He got this image from a dream that he had and said that everyone must bow down and worship this image. And for those that did not, the fiery furnace is where they would be thrown. So because the three Hebrew boys did not worship this image, they were thrown into the fiery furnace. And because Nebuchadnezzar was so angry, he had his men to turn the fiery furnace seven times hotter than normal because he was so angry. After throwing these three Hebrew boys in, King Nebuchadnezzar stood up and said, wait, didn't we throw in three men? And his counselor said, yes. And he says, I see a fourth. And it looks like the son of God. So I came to tell someone today that it doesn't matter what our circumstances look like. It doesn't matter that the fiery furnace has just been turned up seven times more, seven times more hotter. God is still right there with us in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of financial hardships, not knowing how am I going to provide for my family, in the midst of unemployment and trying to figure where am I going and what is it that God is trying to teach me in this time, he is still right there with us. He said he would never leave us nor forsake us. And God is not a man to lie. So saints, I came to tell you that no matter what is going on right now, no matter what things are looking like, no matter what is happening around you, no matter what others are telling you, take a stand for God and he will work in your favor. He brought us to this pandemic and he'll bring us through this pandemic. If he brought us to this fire, he will bring us through the fire and he will be right there with us. I pray that you all were blessed. I love each and every one of you with the love of the Lord. And I hope that this is a seed that you will take throughout your week, remembering that no matter what the enemy tries to, to throw at me, God is still right there. Be blessed.